Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lamp Classic. This time we take a look at the 2000 Citroen Xantia 3 litre V6 exclusive. This car was requested by Ludo and it is a pretty interesting car. I do rather like the Citroen Xantia to be honest with you. I quite like the way it looks. It has a very interesting suspension. Apparently it's supposed to be a rather excellent car to drive in real life. Yeah, I do quite like the Xantia and of course it is back when Citroen was a little bit mental. Uh, in terms of statistics, it's not overly mental. Front wheel drive, 356 horsepower, good amount, so 1,331 kilos of weight. This should, uh, I mean, it could be quick. It could be. I don't actually know how this car is going to get along, but to find out, it's going to get six laps off the Motorsports Land track to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is Suzuki Scudero, Pike Speed Edition at set time of 27.710. This is Antia, unlikely to beat that. Again, this car could be comp. I have no idea. I guess the closest thing to this car in terms of equivalence is the Alfa Romeo 156, maybe? Uh, that, ooh, okay, there we go, try and get this a little bit under control, it's naturally aspirated for, yeah, that's quite surprising. Yeah, the Alfa 156 is the closest thing I can think of to this car, uh, that said a 31.506, but... Yeah, I don't think we've had too many cars really comparable to this because this car is sort of a larger executive car and most of those are not front wheel drive. It handles a little bit weird. Yeah, we have understeer, which is not too great. There we go. Ooh, get a bit of a slide on. Yeah, we have understeer, but it's, it's quite weird. This car does not feel like it has 350 horsepower. Uh, no way, it feels more like it has like 200, it feels like I'm driving a low powered um, car, but definitely feel the weight in it. Kind of reminds me a little bit in terms of statistics of, ooh, okay, maybe it will be quick. It doesn't feel quick, or even remotely handle like it's quick, but this may very well be a quick car. It actually, come to think of it, it does remind me a little bit of cars like the uh, Dodge Intrepid, it has no way near the power. Uh, that the Intrepid had, but in terms of uh, its weight and stature as a front-wheel drive car, uh, that might be something similar. I can't remember where the Intrepid is, I think that's like a 31.6, uh, and it has beaten that, so quite convincingly in fact. Yeah, it just doesn't handle particularly great. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised by this car, gotta be honest. It's, it's sort of almost leaving me a little bit speechless, because I'm not quite sure what to make of it because it, it does not handle well, like, it, it's, you can sort of see it, through the sort of harder, uh, through the grassy bits, it's bouncing all over the place, it doesn't really feel stable, the steering's quite not there, um, I mean, then again, I was just driving in pretzel last time, so maybe that's why it feels a little bit off, but even still, you can sort of see how much I'm braking through some of these corners. And like the power delivery is a little bit violent and it sort of sends the car spinning and all sorts, but yeah, it, it, it's very odd. Ooh. Yeah, it, it, it is a very, very strange car in its driving department, but it seems to be doing quite well. And we're going to get one final lap. With the Xantia, we're going to go for a bit of a wide line through that last corner, and we're going to hit that tyre wall, which probably is going to signal the death of this lap. Yeah, the understeer is just not going to help me there either. Yeah, this is a very, very strange driving car. I don't like it. Got to be honest, usually I'm quite a fan of these sort of faster front-wheel drive cars around this track, but this, really, I'm not a fan of. But that being said, there's no denying it's quick. Uh, in terms of actual lap time, it just doesn't feel it. Very strange. Very strange indeed. But a 31.452 is going to be the time for the Xantia. Unfortunate of that, really. Because uh, this does feel like it could be quicker. And I think if I took a look at the lap breakdown as we're about to, it probably... Uh, actually, no, never mind. It all seems to have come together on that final lap. Or on that third lap, sorry. Hmm. Odd car. Anyways, 31.452. I will put it into... Oop. That's not what I wanted to do. 31.452 is going to put it into... 92nd place. It goes in between a Toyota Aristo 3 litre V and the Tommy Kyra ZZS. It's a little bit uh, quicker than the Alfa Romeo 156 that I mentioned, Nissan Primera, 
Uh, Honda Prelude is quicker then, interestingly enough. Yeah, a rather interesting car, certainly, if nothing else. Anyways, I want to thank you all very much for watching this edition of the Hotline Classic, and until next time, farewell.